Father of two, Dale Decker, suffers from a rare and seemingly incurable condition that leads to him suffering up to 100 unwanted orgasms a day. There's nothing pleasurable about it because even though it might physically feel good, the whole time inside your mind, you're completely disgusted by what's going on. And depending on where you're at, if you're in public, if you're in front of kids, if you're around strangers, I mean, it, it can make a person break real fast. The 37-year-old is the first man to ever speak publicly about the condition known as Persistent Sexual Arousal Syndrome, or PSAS, and he says it's ruining his life. When you're on your knees at your father's funeral, at his casket, and you're saying goodbye to him, and then you have nine orgasms right there while your whole family is standing behind you. It just makes you never want to have another orgasm as long as you live. But you know what? You just keep on coming. Dale, from Wisconsin in America, was enjoying his suburban life in 2012 when he slipped a disc in his back while getting out of a chair, triggering the condition for unknown reasons. They put me in the back of the ambulance to take me to the hospital, and on the way there I had my first five orgasms, and they've never stopped. Dale has been unable to work since the accident and is mostly housebound through fear of experiencing an episode in public, but he enjoys playing frisbee golf with his closest friends. Oh, God! Oh. They happen at oh. all times in any situation. They happen when I'm awake, they happen when I'm asleep, they happen in the shower. <laughs> I just had nine rather powerful orgasmic sensations flow through my entire body. And now it feels like every muscle from here to about here is doing this. While the condition is so rare, most doctors can't even diagnose it, it is widely acknowledged by specialists in the field. PSAS is a condition of unrelenting genital arousal and spasms, which is not necessarily sexual. Um, and they have no idea when this is going to happen or how often, and can lead to intense suffering. And this suffering is felt in Dale's home life, where wife April struggles to cope with the situation. We tend to have arguments about stuff that really shouldn't be argued about. We already struggle right now. I mean, he can't work and help supply, so I feel stressed from that. And PSAS is even affecting Dale's relationship with his children, Christian and Tatum. They don't have a relationship. He doesn't go to like practices because he feels embarrassed and kids don't know about his condition. So the kids don't quite understand why Dale won't be there. The threat of a spontaneous orgasm isn't the only thing that leaves Dale afraid to leave home. Sometimes I have an erection for three, four hours at a time. Off and on, they just come and go like, 30, 40 a day. It's really hard to deal with. It's possible to have sex with my wife. We don't very often because it becomes frustrating because for me there's no end. Desperate for help, Dale has turned to therapist Diane London to see if she can shed light on the condition. It's destroying every part of everything in my life. When it comes to sexual issues, people get very Mm. <laughs> oh. Go ahead. I've never seen anything like that before. There are no words. It's hard to know if it's if it's real. This makes me want to find him some relief. Otherwise, this is not horrible way for him to have to live. But even in the face of such desperate odds, there is hope for Dale's future. 
It's uh, very brave of Dale to come out and publicly talk about it. He's suffering, but there is help for him. There are doctors that can help him. So um, I hope that he's getting some help. I think the main problem is that probably nobody believes that it's a medical condition. They think it's in his head and it's not. He's got a real medical problem. I just try to take one day at a time. Hopefully someday, someday, buddy will come up with something. Because I would like to get back to my normal life one day and get back to being the person I'm supposed to be instead of the person this has turned me into.